off with questions, and when you ask a question, please uh, direct it at one of the guys. Uh, Ryan, this is for you. Uh, you break the uh, all-time uh, three-point record with 154. Which felt better to you, that or the win tonight? Oh, the win. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, I was so happy, especially being on a senior night, uh, to get a win for uh, Jalen and Ryan. Um, that was that's a great feeling. I mean, that's that's for sure. You know, the highlight of the year. Um, we wanted to do it for those guys, and uh, you know, moving forward, um, hopefully get some momentum going into the tournament. Uh, that's what we were looking for. Um, you know, pick our stride up really, and you know, make a run maybe. Uh, speaking of that, Ron, JC, uh, just getting a win like this, uh, knowing that uh, this is that final stretch of the season, and a chance for you guys to hopefully uh, go into the conference uh, tournament with some momentum. How important was it? Oh, it was huge, uh, especially with us being a younger team. Uh, that, that level of confidence, momentum that we got from this game is, is, is definitely huge. And it's crucial for us. You know, it uh, solidifies like what Coach has been talking about to us. And it, it uh, you know, helps us you know, want to come and, and practice harder, you know, do everything the right way, you know, like we've been doing. But it's just good to see it pay off. Uh, that Nichols three uh, for either one of you, um, it turned it into a two-possession game. Was it the shot that you guys wanted um, going down the stretch, especially in situations where it seems like being able to close out games really didn't work in you guys' favor, uh, but you guys were able to tonight? Yeah, I mean, we we that wasn't exactly the shot we drew up, um, but he, you know, credit him, he just made a play with the clock running down, and that's, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of times at the end of the game, that's what you got to do. Um, Sam Merrill for the uh, Aggies hit six threes in the first half, but then you guys stopped him only hit one three in the second half. Uh, what did you guys change um, at halftime to focus more on that? Uh, you know, coach just uh, came to me and told me like you got him for the rest of the game, and he just like I basically face guarded him for the rest of the game. You know, uh, credit to him, he's a great player. You know, he had 18 points in the first half, ended up with 26. You know, so he's a great player, man. He, uh, he can put the ball in the hole, but I just did my best to. Try to keep him from touching the ball in his sweet spots, you know. So, just try to be a distraction for him. You know, he's a great shooter. So, Hillsman, also for you, uh, 19 points, a career high. Uh, offensively, what was working for you tonight? It seemed like the size advantage worked in you guys' favor. How were you guys able to expose it? It's not a career high, is it? No, no, no. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's all good. No. Uh, anyway, it's uh, you know, I just, just, just did what I had to do for us to win. You know, uh, it wasn't always pretty. But we got the W, and that's 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 what matters at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> JC, can you talk about um, you started conference play against these guys, and you know here we are a couple months later, and um, the way you guys have changed over time, and the way you guys played tonight, you know the team is different. Can you describe just kind of what the journey has been from when we started at that point to you know, tonight's triumph? Yeah, you know, it is, uh, it's been a rough journey. I mean, it's been mentally challenging for everybody, uh, coaches, players, everybody included, fans. You know, it's been mentally uh, challenging, you know, spiritually. We just try to keep each other upbeat, you know, coming into practice every day, trying to do the right thing, trying to make sure that we're on every single detail. And, you know, like, like I said before, it just paid off. You know, it, it took a while, you know, uh, credit to Coach Prelo. Uh, you know, he got the job in, in August, so, you know, most people have, uh, what, six, seven months before the season to get their offenses and defenses in order. We didn't have that. But, I mean, that's not an excuse. However, it's just something that we're, we're growing. We're still growing as a team, and we're, we're getting better every day. And I think that's evident from our, our continued play. Was there anything that uh, either Jalen or Ryan said before the game um, as seniors to you guys that um, got you guys excited? or? No, not really. It's just like when, when you know that you have seniors on your team and you know how many hours they've dedicated to the game, how many hours they've dedicated to, you know, the school uh, as individuals, it's just you feel obligated to go out there and play play your butt off for them. They they deserve that and they've worked their butts off for that. You know, they've, they've done that for the previous seniors and, you know, in our case, we hope that people do it for us. So, yeah. Ryan, uh, what was that moment like from when the buzzer sounded to when you guys got the locker room? I mean, that was just that was just joy, really. Like, I mean, we worked so hard for this. Um, obviously, we've been through a lot of struggles, a lot of growing pains. But, um, and, you know, we've really just been talking about, um, you know, we're growing. And, um, I mean, obviously, you know, we didn't give up and quit, which, you know, 
we could have, but um, we just kept growing and, you know, coach just kept talking about um, how we were going to break through at some point. And, um, and again, we just wanted to do it for the seniors because they deserved it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, Jalen, we're going to let you uh, kick us off with a statement about tonight and the win and just kind of the feels on, on senior tonight. Uh, I mean, it was my last game as a Spartan here at home playing in this gym. Uh, but the whole team really all week, the whole the whole thing was uh, just getting the win for me, playing for me. And I felt like a bunch of guys uh, gave it their all. Isaiah, JC, Keith, Umar, Ashton, uh, and Welly. I mean, they played the majority of the minutes, and they, they played really hard as a team, and uh, they got the W for me. Questions? Um. Quite the roller coaster career for you here. Mm -hmm. um, how would you sum it up? And then obviously to go off in a fashion like this in front of your home fans. I mean, uh, everything happens for a reason. I'm not really complaining. I'm not the one to complain about anything. Uh, things happen. You know, you got to live with it, dust off your shoulder, and keep it moving. That's just what I'm going to do. Could you talk about the ceremony before the game? Um, mm -hmm. What were your emotions like um, through that and, and into the tip off? I mean, it was. It was normal to me, really. It, I, it, it really didn't hit me at all. Uh, I mean, my family's out here. That was great. And I took the picture at senior night. It was kind of regular, blah. But, I mean, it was nice having my team and taking the pictures with uh, the full staff and, and all my teammates. I'm really going to miss them because I'm moving on. But uh, it was a great feeling. Jalen, uh, you can you kind of just summarize the, the feeling to get a win? Yeah, I mean, uh, the situation we was in is not normal. I mean, Coach Pre came pretty late time. We had to learn everything on the go and everything fast. And that's the, you, you guys seen the struggles from earlier this year. Uh, I felt like we got better each and every game. And uh, things are starting to come together slowly. It might not look like it, it might not seem like it, but we got a W and that's huge for us. We can go into Air Force, we get a W and then we can go into a conference tournament. And uh, I kind of feel like we can play with anybody. We've been having some close games. We, we let a few go, big big time L's. But I feel like if we, we play together as a team like we did tonight and we stay locked in and stick to our principles, we can do something. Um, what have you noticed for both for you guys? I mean, you mentioned how you guys are right there in close in games, mm -hmm. uh, particularly tonight. But in general, what do you see? What do you think has clicked with you guys uh, down the stretch right here? I mean, uh, I feel like chemistry-wise, uh, turnovers was a big part, big failure of us uh, beginning of the year. I feel like. We've been cutting down a lot on turnover. I think we had 10 for 10 total for the game. And the beginning of the year, we had, we was in 20 plus as turnovers. So I feel like we're getting better in offense. We know what we're looking for. That's what, it came with the new system that coach put in. The guys really didn't know what they was doing. So turnovers was just happening. But I feel like guys know what they're doing now. And uh, the turnovers are cutting down. That's giving us more possessions, more time with the, with the possession. And we're getting easy looks at the basket. Um, what was uh, the locker room atmosphere like? from the buzzer down until when you guys got in there. Considering there were so many storylines with this game, with yeah. it being you know, your final game here, mm -hmm. Welly uh, breaking the three-point record mark. Mm -hmm. Just talk about what the atmosphere was like. It was crazy. It was like we won the championship. <laughs> <laughs> guys was going nuts. One more. Now, now that you're, you're going to, to move on, what are a couple of, of next steps um, for your future after San Jose State? I mean, definitely want to uh, finish graduate. I'm gonna graduate in May, so I'm gonna finish off in school and then uh, play f professionally overseas. Uh, I got a couple of looks, so uh, I'll see where that goes in off season. All right, Jalen. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, coach. Go ahead and start us off with an opening statement about the win tonight. Uh, you know, it, it was senior night. Um, we we played against a very tough team. Uh, they've won a lot of games. They have they have two players that are are really good. Um, they have a lot of players, actually, um, that are really good, and uh, they have a hell of a coach in Coach Durier. Um, it was a very close game, and uh, we were able to prevail tonight, and uh, we did a really good job in our, defensing, our defense and rebounding. Excuse me. I'm a little happy because we won. So uh, we did a really good job defending and uh, rebounding tonight. Coach, you mentioned how you, know, you guys are happy that you won. Yeah. It's been quite the season. 
get a win. Uh, yeah. What does it mean for this program? Well, it means a lot. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's one win, two wins, three wins, you know, however many you can win. And it's tough to win um, a basketball game. It doesn't matter what level it is. Division one, Division two, NAIA, Division three. It doesn't matter. Uh, there are a lot of good coaches out there. There are a lot of good players. And it's really hard to win a basketball game. And we've been knocking on the door uh, a lot lately. I think the second half of the season, we've been right there on a lot of games. And tonight, uh, we want it. Uh, not that I want to win it like this every time, but uh, we're up to and we have to get a defensive stop and we got the stop. And that was, that was a great credit to our players. Um, you've also touched on being able to play a full 40 minutes. Yes. And, and you've seen slow improvements here and there. Uh, but it seemed like tonight you guys were able to get that 40 minutes. Um, yeah. And even down to the wire with Isaiah Nichols and Anon Big Shots make it a two, two possession game. Right. Uh, just the fact that you guys were able to close considering that they made nine three pointers. Uh, Um, so the question is, is what changed in the second half as opposed to them making their nine threes in the first half? We didn't change anything. We just stuck to what we do, and it worked out in our favor. Um, and uh, there are a lot of games. It's been like that, but we've just given up and we've broken down in certain parts of the game, which we didn't want to do. And when you cover those angles and those parts of it, it puts you in a position to win. It doesn't mean you're going to win, but it puts us in position to win tonight. And we held them to 36.5 points, 36.5 uh, point uh, field goal percentage, and we out-rebounded them uh, by five. So we did our job there. We'd like the rebounding total to be a lot higher, uh, but again, we out-rebounded them. Uh, in the turnover department, uh, we had 10 turnovers. Again, the number is going down. Hopefully, it's going to continue to go down. Um, and I thought we just did a tremendous job tonight. Coach, can you describe how much better the team has gotten since we played Utah State the first game of conference play? Yes. Um, you know, at, when we played them the first time, uh, we just came off a win at Santa Clara. So we were feeling pretty good. Uh, that was the not that was closing out the non-conference. <laughs> then we stepped into the Mountain West, which is a that's a a higher level. It just is um, playing against higher level players, and uh, we were taught a lesson on the road. And we looked at the tape um, the other day, and God, Lee, we've come a long way since watching that game against Utah State. We've come a long way. We gave up a lot of layups. Our defensive coverage was off. We had a lot of breakdowns defensively in that game. Uh, we turned it over a lot for pick six layups uh, against them at their place. Uh, so we've come a long way. And um, what everyone saw tonight was the culmination of getting in the gym every single day, believing in what we do, taking the distractions out, and just trying to get better every single day, and that's what everyone saw tonight. How does it make you feel as the head coach to see that, that progress? It feels great as a head coach because um, the one thing you want as a head coach is you want, the, you want your players to believe in whatever message you're trying to portray to your team. And hopefully that message doesn't die off or players give up on it. And our guys have not given up on the message because we have good kids um, they work hard, they have good character, and they play as hard as they can, and they're trying to listen every single day. We watch a lot of film. We watch film almost every day, um, and we incorporate that in our practice. So um, there is a message. The guys are following it. And, again, it doesn't mean that you're going to win every game, but the message obviously is putting us in position because we're inching closer and closer and closer and closer. And as you mentioned before, it was a 40-minute uh, situation tonight, as opposed to, you know, we've been in 39 minutes and 56 seconds of a situation and came up short. And tonight, we came out with the win. A couple more for Coach. Um, Coach, you mentioned how Ryan Singel was kind of one of the leaders yeah. um, early on in the season before he went down. Yeah. And then Jalen, you know, one of the captains on the team. Uh, losing two of these guys, uh, what were they able to do this season before you were here? Um, while, you know, while they were here um, and moving forward for them? Well, losing Jalen? Yeah. Well, we didn't. Oh, you mean going into next year? Going into oh, next okay. Year, yeah. Just losing a guy like 
Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Jalen Jalen has done a lot for our program. He was actually the one player when I first got the job that was trying to rally all the players, meaning text them, try and get in touch with them because I just got the job. And obviously that part of my life was moving at a thousand miles an hour, trying to get in touch with players, trying to get in touch with parents, trying to get a staff together, trying to just, you know, make sure the contract's right. Um, so in all of that, Jalen was trying to help me try to contact Welly when Welly was over in China. Like, he was the one that was spearheading all of that because I didn't have a staff yet. And school was a week and a half away. So um, he's been a great asset to our program. He's really tried to help our guys. We're going to miss that. Um, I think uh, JC has those same qualities as a guy returning. He's, he's really just trying to... Be a leader. He's, he's evolving into that for sure, but he's also trying to help guys just understand what we are trying to do, what Spartan basketball is about, and what we're trying to do as a program. So Jalen's um, thoughts and his actions are wearing off onto JC, and that's a plus because that means we're moving forward as a, as a program. All right, thanks.